Okay. Ready? Yeah, so we're gonna talk about a pulsar failure on pump five, a diesel pump. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and enable the pump. Pump five, enter, wave the key. Employee number, enter. Okay, it says pulsar failure at the hose. All right, so we're gonna hit, hit the special key until we see on the screen that it says RFY, hose reset. You hit enter, it's asking for a pin, and the pin is 9131, enter. And, you hit, and then it's asking for what pump number, you hit five, enter. Okay, so it's reset. Then you go ahead and you can hit cancel. And when it comes back to its normal display, you can go ahead and we'll start over again. And now we're gonna try to turn the pump on. Pump five, enter, wave the key. Employee number, enter. Okay, now pump five is ready. So we wanna be in hose watch. Hose watch, enter. It's gonna ask you what number. We're gonna hit five again. Enter. And now we can pump fuel and this should start counting. Uh, count it. So if you wanna hold that, that screen, I'll, I'll go turn that on. Hold this, so you can watch that. So I'm gonna pump uh, a half a gallon, so it should say like, Okay, so it was counting, but then now it, it the screen reset to uh, corporate yard enter pump number. Okay, but it did. But I did count. see it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I did see it count. So that's okay. So this part's okay. All we got to do is check to see why. Uh, to see if this transaction went into fleet. If, the, if a transaction went in, it's probably just uh, something that it erred. Okay. And then we'll, we'll let it go. So we also have a pump, pulse of failure on three. So we'll check that one down. Okay, so, but just to clear this up. So we go into fleet, we go into internal fuel tickets. And what we're looking for is a transaction on pump five, date stamped for today at and right now. At this time, for half a gallon. For half a gallon. Yeah. Okay. If that's happening, then we're, we're good. Okay, so when we do a hose reset, one of the things you want to do, like for instance, we had uh, the diesel pump number five um, that wasn't working. It said pulsar uh, failure. So we did a hose reset. Um, but before you reset it, what you want to do is you want to come into fleet. and you want to take a look at the internal fuel tickets so to do that we're just waiting for this to here we go we go to data whoops equipment units no equipment activity there it is fueling internal fuel tickets okay next since we did the we did the hose reset uh, we did the ID watch where we watched the pumping of the fuel. And if you remember, we pumped about a half a gallon. So what you want to do is you want to come over here to the filter. And we're just going to use today's date for the uh, from and to. Hit get data. This area here will populate. And you can see here, so these are all the transaction dates. These are the vehicles that were fueled. Okay, so what we want to do <clears throat> is slide this tab over, and what we're looking for is the site ID, okay? And we're looking for, this is the number pump. So again, number one, that's the corporate yard, and we are looking for pump five, and that is a diesel tank, and there it is here. Now we're gonna slide back over so we can check the date time just to confirm. It was today, and and let's see, where's the time? Oh, we just can't see it right here. There's the time, 10, 12 a.m., 
and we're, we're looking for should say like 0.5 or 0.51 there it is quantity and that confirms that we didn't receive or that we did in fact receive the transaction and that's it and then you can go ahead and do the hose reset if you didn't see the number five uh, pump used um, resetting the hose it really isn't going to do you good it'll allow three transactions um, because you're just giving it away and then it'll lock the the system is smart enough to know when you're giving away fuel and it locks itself out so by confirming this we know we're not going to have another problem Just a side note, Alex was talking about the uh, fuel key and we have a, uh, a bulk fuel key that we use for testing purposes and that is located in the key box like where we normally hang the, the keys for the vehicles but on the left hand side and it will be labeled as a pump test and that's what we use when we want to test like the pulser fit. Okay so to recap we have a pulser error on pump three so we're going to kind of do the same thing okay enter pump three enter create the fuel fob employee number and it says pulser failure at this house okay so if it says pulser failure um what what that's telling you is that either the fuel transaction as a pump fuel is not going into fleet so we need to check in fleet to make sure that the transic transactions are in, indeed not going there if they if they're not going into fleet we need to troubleshoot why it's happening don't just reset the pulser because what we're doing is we're giving out free gas for three transactions the pulser the, the system fuel focus will allow three transactions meaning it will enable the pump three times and if it does not see fuel flowing for three cycles it will go into pulse of failure another reason why it can go into pulse of failure if somebody enables the pump and is out here servicing it and but they don't dispense fuel if that happens three times then it will automatically go into pulse of failure so that's what we're trying to sort out now so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reset the pulser and we do that by hitting the special key and every time you hit the special key it goes into a different screen and we're going to go into hose reset that's where we set it enter it's asking for a special pin it's 9131 and that is written enter. down if we yeah. were to open up the icu right here yeah. it's written down okay there. so now it's asking you to enter a pump number we're going to enter three because it's going to reset it enter okay so it goes back to this screen so you can enter enter another one if you want to but you can from here you just go ahead and Hit cancel. Okay, so it's now it's gone back to its home screen. We're gonna hit the uh, pump three. Enter. Wave the key. Enter the employee ID number. Okay, so now pump three is ready to go. Oh. So want to watch the, the fuel so we're going to go into the special key until we hit hose watch okay I passed it we're going to go back to it oh I'm going to do it again <laughs> what what's wrong with it hose watch enter pump three enter okay so it should count the fuel it doesn't count for doing this in the yard and pulse fish. So I'm gonna once again have to yell it. Oh, okay. Did you time out? Alright. Okay. Okay, so this this is what we have is we have an issue with the, with this nozzle. It didn't turn on. So that means that the acid works, the, the fuel system is enabling the pump to turn on. If it doesn't see fuel flowing, it counts that as one pulse of failure. It'll do that three times and then it'll just lock it out and won't let you use the pump anymore. So in this case, the system is doing what it's supposed to do. It's, it's locking it out so that uh, it did not see any fuel flow. It 
it uh, it enables the pump and it's a time lapse. It, it only labels it only enables it for about five minutes or so and then it automatically cuts it off because it doesn't know what the operator is doing at the pump. So it's obviously it's done that three times because this pump won't turn on. So we need to get it serviced. But that's why it's in And that failure. who does that? We call Central Coast? Yeah, Central Coast Tank Test. And what do they do? Do they open this up? There's a micro switch here on the handle. On the inside, there, on the handle when you turn it on, there's a micro switch that turns the whole system on. And for some reason it's not doing it. And uh, so that's, that's what the issue is with this one. Okay.